In the Eternal City, 30 years is not a long time, but in just three decades, the Pontifical Council for Culture has become one of the busiest branches of the Vatican. To celebrate its 30th anniversary and how far the Council has come, it has released a new documentary on its history. It explains the origins of the department, which was created by John Paul II back on May 20, 1982. Now the Pontifical Council for Culture is moving in many different directions. They range from arts and sciences to language to unbelievers, economics and sports. The concept of culture refers not only to great intellectuals, to the aristocracy, but also the activities of daily life. The presentation of the documentary was also attended by Cardinal Paul Poupart, who is a former president of the Council. Also there was French writer Fabrice Jahad, a Catholic convert who talked about the challenges facing the culture in Europe. There was also an unveiling of the new website for the Pontifical Council for Culture, which is cultura.va. The website is meant to be a meeting place for new generations, and even Cardinal Gianfranco Ravazzi opened a Twitter account over a year ago that he now links to the new website. It is the world where young people spend their time, meet and talk. They also pass their time of decay here. For this reason we must be present and show the power of the gospel, of beauty, the power of truth. The challenges are always the same. It's to achieve a new synthesis between faith and culture. The saints who have been great evangelists have also been great creators of culture. St. Francis of Assisi invented the manger in Greccio which created the tradition of the nativity scene. It created culture and was actually evangelizing. Members of the council realized that 30 years is very little time in terms of great cultural movements, but they note that their work has just begun and is already having an impact.